My name is Kevin Bialis. I'm the Composites Manager here at USF1 Team. Once the design is completed and the laminate schedule has been run through the FEA model, we'll actually get a pattern cut. We'll lay up a carbon tool on that pattern, which is a 10-ply composite layup. Uh, that will get cured in the autoclave. Once that's been cured initially, we'll demold it off of the pattern, at which point, once that's done, we'll seal the mold, release it, and uh, we'll actually template the mold and that will go onto our kit cutter and actually cut the kit of material to make the nose. Uh, the nose is done in a three-stage cook. Uh, we lay up the outer skin, that will get cured. Then we will actually do the core and all the inserts that have to go into it. And then after that, we'll lay up the inner skin and cure that. Uh, from there, it goes into the trim shop, uh, gets trimmed up, and uh, all the final assembly done to it. My name is Martijn Joosten. I'm a stress engineer at uh, USF1. After the nose box is um, basically finished in production, we ship it to England where we do a crash test on it. The initial crash test on the nose is basically done to make sure that it behaves exactly as we expect it to do so that we do the real crash test. We know that we will not destroy the chassis because that is basically, first, first of all, very expensive. And second of all, also one of the regulations because the chassis needs to stay in one piece uh, to ensure the driver's safety.